Up to one million Rohingya made filthy camps the refuge in Bangladesh. After they escaped the killings and oppression in Myanmar, little hope is served to this ethnic minority to return home, where they are mostly denied citizenship and other rights. In 2017, they pushed us in Bangladesh, and now it's five years. So now we don't want to stay here, don't want refugee life. Now we are ready to go back to our country with dignified and justified repatriation. One more demand and that they must accept us as Rohingya community, which they don't recognize. They must declare us as Rohingya community to the whole world before we go back. It's been five years since we came here. We don't want to stay in the camps as refugees. Now we want to go back to Burma. If we go, we want the security for our life and wealth there. We must get the guarantee. The international community, Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch, have put pressure on Myanmar's government to stop the violence against its Rohingya population. Bangladesh wants to ensure that Rohingya can return home to safe conditions in Myanmar, where they will no longer be persecuted and will finally receive citizenship. We urge the international community to work alongside us to provide support to Rohingya people by asserting pressure on Myanmar to stop the mass persecution and allow Rohingya safe repatriation to their homes. Bangladeshi officials have expressed frustration over the repatriation of the refugees to Myanmar after at least two attempts to send them back failed since 2017 and said sending back home is the only solution to the crisis. However, the United Nations says conditions are not yet right for return. Governments should mark the five-year anniversary of the devastating campaign against the Rohingya with a coordinated international strategy for accountability and justice that draws on Rohingya input. The safety situation in Myanmar has worsened since military takeover last year, and the country is facing charges of genocide at the International Court of Justice in The Hague over the violence, which led the vast majority of Rohingya population to flee the country towards Bangladesh.